Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at Viomi's all new vacuum cleaner pro with sweeping and mopping. Is it any good? Will it perform the cleaning task that we'll throw at it today? Let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find an English written instruction manual, the floor mop, the vacuum robot itself, two side brushes, and a box with accessories, including the charging docking station, a 12 volt power adapter, in my case with the European size two pin plug, and an additional floor mop and water tank. So first I've uh, attached the side brush, which really just needs to be clicked in and that's that. When opening the top lid, you'll find the dust box, which you can uh, easily replace with the water tank when you want to be mopping the floor. Here you'll also find a small tool with a brush and a small knife to cut any possible hairs that might get stuck in the wheels or brush. So what does this thing have and what can it do? The Vacuum Cleaner Pro comes with a whole bunch of onboard sensors, including a LDS laser for room mapping, an anti-collision sensor, anti-dropping sensor, cliff sensor, a compass, accelerometer, a sensor to detect if the mop is attached, and sensors to detect if the dustbin or the water tank is inserted. It's got a 2150 PA suction power, which can be set to three speeds, a 600 milliliter dustbin and a 560 milliliter water tank which really is quite big compared to the others. It's got a 3200 milliamp hour battery, which is slightly smaller than others might have, but it should be good for uh, 80 to 120 minutes of operation time. It can ride over two centimeter high obstacles and thresholds, and on top of the device, you'll find a power button and return to home button. It comes with a room mapping through the app, and this has got some intelligent path planning to go uh, and sweep according to a quite optimized path. And a cool feature is that it will return to the dock once it ran out of battery and will continue with its program from where it left off once it's recharged. So let's have a look at how it is in operation and see how good it really is. Here I've lined up a whole bunch of stuff, just some random stuff to see how well it would pick that up. And I must say it did that surprisingly well for a single run. It did leave behind a little bit, but that is uh, quite typical on a single run with such excessive amount of rubbish in one spot. It actually did pick up more than I had with the first generation Roborock when I tested that. I've tried testing several obstacles and it seemed to maneuver around these quite well and it went over most obstacles I tried out as well, like uh, some rugs, and here it goes over like these magazines. But as it can only deal with two centimeter obstacles, it did not go over my living room's threshold as those are around three centimeters. If you want to have the room mopped as well, you'll have to do that in a second run. And it's actually quite smart as it does not vacuum, but really just mops because it detects that the water tank and the mop are attached. This works really well as you can see in these shots right here. In this example, I had set it to use the maximum amount of water, which is something that you can set in between minimum, normal, or maximum from within the app. Additionally, it comes with a second cloth that you can use for a mopping, and that pretty much has a separation in between the two pieces, so it will have a pretty dry piece on the back to dry your floor. Right now, the Viomi Vacuum 2 only works with the Viomi Robot app on iOS and Android. It should be supported by the Xiaomi Mi Home app from somewhere in May this year as well. You can add the vacuum cleaner to the app by holding down both the buttons on top of the device and setting it up through the app by connecting it to your Wi-Fi network. Once it's set up, you can access the vacuum through the app from where you can control it and set up scheduled cleanups. From the main page, you can set the vacuum strength from eco, normal to turbo. You can start cleanups and send it back to the charging dock. From the more button, you can access a whole bunch of other functions like uh, setting up just an edge clean run or to have the vacuum run twice twice for extra good cleanups. Also, you can set up a quiet mode, which will not run the robot in between 10 o'clock in the evening and seven in the morning, and it will not give you any voice prompts. You can also reset the map or locate the robot, which will have it play a sound. So after doing a first run, it will map out your room or rooms in the app as well. And this serves several purposes. It allows you to set up spot cleans. So it will just clean a small specific area on the map and you can set up areas that you want to clean as well so then it does that whole region. And it kind of sees those as virtual walls. Additionally, you can also set up zones that you don't want it to vacuum as well. So what do I think of the Viomi Vacuum Robot Pro? Well, first of all, I was really surprised at how well it's built and how well it works. 
I wasn't sure if it was going to be similar to the Robo Rock or Xiaomi vacuum robots, but it really surprised me at how well it works. I really do love the water tank addition. It's a much more controlled way to mop the floor as you can set that water amount and it allows you to mop much larger homes in a single run, which I think many of you will appreciate. It does take a few more seconds to replace the dust box with the water tank and to add the mop, but I do think it's worth it to have a little bit more control over that mopping. Its noise levels are really quite decent. It's almost identical to the Robo Rock, and the difference between them is just about one or two decibels, so that's hardly noticeable. Its path is also a bit different than the Robo Rock that I've tested a while ago, which seems to be a little bit more efficient, although both get really good results. For really heavy cleaning, you might have to do two runs or do a single run with an extra run of edge cleaning. But again, that is very similar to any other vacuum robot that's out there. The app is quite straightforward and it seems to work really well. Although I personally am not a really big fan of using yet another app for the vacuum cleaner. But as it will be supported by the Xiaomi Mi Home app quite soon, that should be solved in a month or so. It would be really great to set up automation rules and such with the vacuum. So I'm really looking forward to see it supported in the Mi Home app. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the Viomi vacuum. The all new Viomi vacuum robot will go for 399 euros in uh, Europe on Amazon and eBay. And I've put down some links down here in the description to where you can get these. So that's about it for the Viomi vacuum robot. What do you guys think? Is this something that you're interested in considering its price? Just let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, are not subscribed to the channel yet, know that you probably should, as I'm doing a ton of videos about uh, products from the Xiaomi ecosystem and ecosystem companies like Viomi right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.